This is River Watch for August 9th, 2024. New Jersey environmental officials are proposing new rules to address the impacts of current and future climate change. The proposed rules would create an inundation risk zone for areas currently above sea level, but likely to be flooded either permanently or twice daily during high tides. New buildings and critical infrastructure will be required to account for the increased flood risk. The rule would also adjust tidal flood hazard areas to reflect the likely increase to five feet above current sea level by the end of the century. The New Jersey DEP will hold public hearings on the proposal on September 5th, 12th and 19th, along with a 90-day comment period. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network has announced plans to sue the Federal Environmental Protection Agency for delaying the release of the final improved dissolved oxygen level for sections of the Delaware River. It was back in December of last year the EPA announced plans to adopt the approved standard for sections of the river, including the estuary from Philadelphia to Wilmington. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network is concerned the EPA may be playing politics and looking to delay their decision making until after the election. The group says action is needed now because dissolved oxygen levels have fallen over the summer to levels well below what's needed to protect endangered fish species such as the Atlantic sturgeon. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network and other activists held a protest outside SEPTA headquarters in Philadelphia on July 30th. The group say a Mach 2 hydrogen hub meeting being held to discuss hydrogen powered buses required payment to attend. The activists say the sponsors of the project have failed to hold any open public meetings. Volunteers are needed for an effort to search for a unique aquatic plant in the Delaware River watershed. The fast water aquatic plant Podostomum has been missing since the late 1800s but has now been found. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network will hold training seminars on how to search for the plant on Thursday, August 15th and Friday, August 16th.